Very excited that we are at Casper College with Richard Burke. It is opening night of Bright Star. That's it's right. a theater production that may be a little under the radar, but it's a collaboration of two very interesting musical forces. Edie Brickell, who right. was a pop star, and Steve Martin, comedian and banjo player and Grammy Award winning musical guy. Take it from there, Richard. Right, they've created a wonderful show called Bright Star, and it's a show about hope and bluegrass. It takes place in North Carolina, and... Um, it's based on it's a based, true event it's, from it's the based, turn of the century. That's right, it's uh, based on an event whereby a man in 1902 was walking along the Iron Mountain and Southern Missouri Railroad and uh, collecting lumber for his farm, and he found a baby in a suitcase in a that had been suitcase. thrown off the train. Now, that happens in our show, and all I want to say is that there is a wonderfully uh, redemptive outcome following that event. I don't want to give it away because I'll tell you, every time I read this or listened to the soundtrack, I was so caught off guard by the way that it ended, and, you know, happy, happy tears would always kind of spread. This so. is pretty amazing music. Let's just walk a little bit yeah. this way so we can see some of this amazing yeah. set. Another one, This I'll tell you what, over the years, uh, Casper College has set the bar really high on musicals and on sets. Mm -hmm. And uh, this has bluegrass in it, but it's kind of period. Right, it has bluegrass. bluegrass. And it takes place in both 1923 and 24 and 1945 and 46, so that we get an idea of how that child has become who he becomes. This is the baby, remember, found in the luggage. That's right, that's in right. In the river. In the river, and. Kind of a Moses thing in a way. That's right, in fact, there is a line referring to that in the play itself. So, we have a great orchestra, we have Dale Bourne. And look, they aren't down there. They're, 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 they're going to be back That's here. Right. We have the orchestra right in the midst of everything. The chairs are for the cast. The cast on stays on stage for the whole play. And they just get up and go. And there are tricks within the side units. I don't want to give that away because our scene designer, the brilliant Chantel Gray, <clears throat> who has put this together through palettes, I understand her camera work is very good, too. Her camera work is excellent, and she laughs on, on camera. So, All right, well, it is opening night. It's going for two, two weeks. It goes from now until May 2nd. Two weeks worth. There right. you go. Right. And you're going to love it because every seat in this theater is a great seat. The music is going to be great. Bright star, Steve Martin, Edie Raquel, and the music is going to be terrific. Richard. Right, and a cast full of students. Biggest challenge to this one was what? The biggest challenge to this one was what you're looking at right here. And we have mastered that with our sound man, uh, um, Larry Berger. Has, we've mic'd the students very well, better than any of the shows that we've done so far this year. And the students are using their voices so effectively and singing this so beautifully. Bright star, you want to kind of come down to Casper College where the musicals are always great, and we'll see you there. Okay. All right, thanks, Richard. Thank you, Mark.